What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today we are back at SEMA and we are going to be looking at some interesting builds for day two. So without further ado, let's go. I saw my homegirl Apple posting with posing, not posting, posing, posing and posting with this one. This uh, at SRT underscore 392 build. Very, very clean. Definitely different. Love the Lambo doors. I love this though. This detail right here. Pro charger. So I'm guessing this is a 5.7 with a pro charger. Sure can't be a 392 with a pro charger. They had to forge the internals. Maybe. Very clean though. Definitely driven. You can see the dust and stuff on it. So I love cars that are actually driven and actually used and not just sitting. But this one is definitely, definitely beautiful. All right. More my speed is probably going to be this M3, this E30, absolute beautiful friggin' car, man. You want to know what my 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 dream car is? The car I would drive every day for the rest of my life? This one right here. I need nothing else, just this. Manual, clean. Oh my God, this thing is so clean, man. Sometimes it's literally all about the details and they really like got the toolkit hanging out. I see it. It's all about the details. And the details on this is awesome. Wow. What a beautiful car. What a beautiful car. I don't care. This might be the cleanest, nicest thing I've seen all SEMA. This thing is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Now, I believe this is probably the section that y'all want to see, right? Oh, boy. Beautiful. Look at these cars, man. Absolutely. Oh, I love that. I've seen some extremely interesting builds out here. Everything from hypercars to supercars to the sexiest BMW M3 I think I've probably ever seen ever in life. We got some box Chevy Corleone forged. I'm sure Sage is probably around here somewhere then. Seventies. God, that green really hits though. I'm not a really big fan of the wheels, but I love the green and the gold accents all the way around this thing. Super, super clean. Clean, definitely clean. Even the interior is exceptionally clean in here. Very, very nice. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Hey, look. It's, uh, you know, if OJ had daddy's money, 
<laughs> was built in a truck, right? Oh my god. That's exceptionally clean though. Very, very, very clean. That was a nice build all the way around. Very clean. Oh, the views, the views. Seeing this is dope. I have to be honest though. I have not seen as many. I have not seen as many uh, show floor girls this year as in the past. Like, there's not a lot of butt cheeks on cars, so to speak. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Just now, when you see one, it's kind of like, ooh, you know, kind of means a little more. Okay, that's dope. Not gonna lie. That's clean. That's another clean build. Oh boy. Got a few more trucks over here. <laughs> One is very interesting. I like the. Oh, it's kind of like a open back Bronco. That's custom built for sure. That was a 150 that they turned into a Bronco, but interesting. Baja truck. Cool. Man, that thing is clean, man. Woo! Really clean. All right. Well, it'll be interesting to see if we run into anything else that's uh, of substance. It's literally just car shit for days here, man. Literally. It's impossible not to find something different. Here we go. You know I had to come check out this BMW, right? Woo. God, that thing is beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. God. Absolutely, man. That's awesome. What a drift car, man. What a beautiful car. Street legal too, huh? Oh my God. All right, Cosmo tires, never heard of you. You all check your stuff out. keep rolling through and see if there's anything else of interest that we end up finding. See if we find something of uh, interest. TPMS sensors, those are kind of cool. I, I love to see how that technology is moving forward right now where you can actually just get valve stem caps in some cases, but it does get more popular, people will just steal that. You can best believe that they'll just be taking it. All right. I am not seeing much else going on. Well, guys, we got about 20 minutes before the show closes. I figured we'd uh, run around and look at a few other interesting vehicles. Whew. See what we can find. <laughs> oh. One thing I definitely do not miss is all the walking. I mean, I know it's healthy for me, right? Doing all this walking. But yeah, when you get in, because I'm not done when we leave here. We got to go to parties and all kinds of other stuff. 
when you finally lay down at the end of the day, you're just like, fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to do nothing. So. Oh. Ooh, look at this old Dodge truck. Ooh, boy. Venom power, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. That's clean. That is very nice. That is very nice. I would drive the shit out of that every day. Make people uncomfortable. Think they're going to get run into. I like stuff that stands out. I want something different. I don't need the same. as. That's why when you guys see me buying those old Jag XJS convertibles or... You know, old seven series BMWs. I want some. I want some shit that everybody ain't got. I don't need to. I don't need to be like everybody else. I don't care if everybody's driving a 720 McLaren. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if everybody's rolling a Huracan or a friggin' M4. I don't care. I like to have stuff that's just different. I was looking down here for the American Force wheels booth because you know i did have that thing with jb67 where they kind of screwed her on that sponsorship so yay i would like to see if they have an answer for that probably not wouldn't surprise me they'd be like i don't we don't have any comment no comment sir we don't have any comment <laughs> oh i do need another tire sponsor though while you're bsing I would love to get another tire sponsor where I ain't got to pay for my tires no more. Yeah, I don't realize how crazy that is. Oh, I think we have an exit over here. I think we might be all right. Oh, I'm on the back side though, aren't I? When I think about it. Do, do, do. All right, so we're out here in the Toyo Tires Tread Pass area. You know, I had to come see what was out here. A couple of interesting ones. Their Liberty Walk kit on that McLaren looks very nice. Oof, very clean. Very, very clean. The M3 wagon though, Jesus Christ. Oh, so beautiful. Just, wow. That's dope. I ain't gonna lie. That is dope as hell. Ooh. Got the Toyo tires Ferrari out here. Let's see it. Clean. God. The level of some of these builds man oh i know my dude uh jeep wild right here just him all day i'd be i would be extremely happy to see him with his uh with that dotson out here at sema one of these one of these times oh man that thing is beautiful Now, go into the next hall before they close up, see if there's anything else interesting, and then we'll close up another video. Got that rock, rock star garage. Whoo! One thing I did get asked from my dude Stitch B down there in Houston was to 
check out the Toyota booth and the twin turbo um, twin turbo uh, Toyotas. It goes right to them. <laughs> oh, yeah, rich. Looks like legit street cars. Cool. How do you? A lot of y'all might be like, "Yo, how do you not just roll up on people or do it?" I don't know, man. I don't like being that person. I don't do that. You know, if we're talking about a product, a service, a build, or something they got going on, yeah, of course. I'm gonna go out and say what's up. But I don't know. They get that all day. So let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I want to see this Toyota stuff and see these this twin turbo that they put in the uh, Tacoma. I hear that's supposed to be a be a monster and be a problem. That's what I hear. All right, we made it to the Toyota Racing Development section. Let's look and see what they have in here, shall we? I believe this is the one right here too. The blue one is the one that uh, Stitch was talking about and that they twin turboed this Tacoma. All right guys, it's gonna wrap it for another video. They're over there in the pit. Maybe I'll get some video out of that tomorrow. Stay tuned. Craziness, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please smash that like button because it does help us out with the robots at YouTube. I'd appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned, man. We have a lot of uh, different content coming soon over the next few days. Like we covered some tool stuff, car theft stuff, builds, pretty much everything. And of course, we're going to have to go over there and get in the pit. So, see you guys very soon on the next one. And yes, after several hours of filming and doing what we do, it's beer time.